every 98 seconds in the United States, someone becomes a victim of sexual assault. But we know that 95% of this abuse is preventable with education and awareness. And with guidance and support, we can help survivors heal. Each one of these shoes behind me represents a story. But more than that, each represents a life, a life that had been shattered by sexual violence. The shoes belong to men, women, and children from ages three to 89. It's not just women, it's men, it's children, it's seniors. As the senator just told you, it's children as young as three years old and people as old as 89. One might think that it's somewhere in that spectrum these things would not be happening to the extremes. How sad that we continue to have to be here and have this kind of display. It takes an incredible amount of courage for sexual assault survivors to come forward and talk about what has happened to them. We know that sexual violence is one of the most underreported crimes. As these different shoes represent, sexual violence affects all people. All genders, races, ages, socioeconomic statuses, it hurts all communities. It's on each of us to support survivors of sexual violence. It is about all of those who are scared to come forward and tell their stories for fear of getting justice, for fear of retribution, for fear of, I don't know what happens to me if I speak these words. My job as a victim advocate is to assist those who are ready to come forward and to empower those who are not. I call on all of you senators, representatives, caring individuals. This fight is all of ours. This fight is not over. This fight is more than hashtags and Oscars dresses. This fight is standing up and believing people when they come forward. For all of these survivors and the many, many more who have yet to find their voice, we will continue to advocate in and outside of the Capitol to prevent sexual abuse and to support survivors.